Good day everybody, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to our channel. We've got some big updates when it comes to social security benefits. Some people are going to be getting an extra $200 per month starting in January. We also have January 12th as the first wave for those larger social security benefits taking into account the new COLA benefits. So let's discuss the details, who's gonna get these extra payments, and how much the average social security payment's going to be starting now on January 12th. So let's discuss the details, but before we jump into it, do me a quick favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and share this channel with anyone who you think might find this helpful. This is a community for seniors, and my job here is to be a voice for you and be a voice for seniors to make sure President Biden keeps his promise to increase social security benefits, increase SSI and SSDI, and even approve a stimulus check for seniors in this next stimulus package. So thank you so much for being a part of our community. And if you really want to support our work, subscribe to my second channel. The link to that is going to be in the comments of this video. And thank you so much for supporting my work. So with that said, let's jump right into it. We're going to be talking about who's going to be getting these additional $200 per month payments, what the average payment's going to be starting on January 12th, now that we have the new COLA payments kicking in. But before we jump into that, let's do a quick update on daily trending news. Now, this one's a little controversial here, folks. And you know me, I generally try. I try and give you daily trending news that affects seniors. I try and stay away from things that are too controversial. But this is a little hard to ignore. So I'm constantly talking about how my job is to be unbiased. I give you the news that affects seniors, affects your retirement, whether that's social security, the next stimulus package, what's happening with the economy, and I'm always trying to be unbiased. I don't have an agenda. I don't go for Republicans or Democrat. I try and stay right in the middle and show you what both sides are saying. Well, one thing we have is obviously the issue is that the general media is biased. And then we have CNN and Fox News. They're completely biased and they constantly ignore things that hurt their own agenda. Now, I always call out CNN. So right now we're going to call out Fox News as well. So don't kill me in the comments, folks. But I like to call out both sides. And right now there's kind of a scandal happening here with Sean Hannity. You've probably heard about this. Let me know your thoughts on this if you've heard about this already. Basically, they're saying that uh, Congress is questioning him as to what he knew about January 6th in 2021 with the events that happened. Apparently, there were some text messages that leaked between Sean Hannity and Trump's administration. And now they really want to dive deep into what he knew, what other text messages he sent, and things like that. Now, quite frankly, this could be a big nothing burger. And to be honest with you, I... It probably is. I think it's not a huge deal. Again, don't kill me in the comments, but as of now, there's not really any proof that he knew anything more than anybody else. I mean, a lot of people thought January 6th was going to be a crazy day based off of all the things President Trump had said leading up to that day. But the scandal here is that Fox News spent 88 seconds covering this topic. And this has been like blazing through the news cycles. Like everyone's talking about it 24 7. And it just goes to show how biased all the news stations are. Fox News not covering one of the biggest headlines happening right now because obviously it would make their own person look bad. CNN does the same thing, folks. So I'm not just trying to call out Fox News, but just sharing this with you and just a friendly reminder that I try and be completely unbiased. And that's my job here to give you guys the facts, things that affect seniors, and just really. I give my opinion sometimes, but I really just try and give you guys the facts unbiased so you guys can come to your own conclusions. So with that said, guys, let's jump right into Social Security benefits. What's happening with these January 12th payments, the first wave of the larger Social Security payments in 2022, and who is going to get an additional $200 per month? in Social Security benefits. Guys, for the last year and a half, we've had President Biden and Democrats who originally promised to do $200 per month for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI until the pandemic was over. That was really where this whole community started because when that came out, I said, you know what? This has to be talked about because seniors, I, 
personally have a lot of experience with seniors. I worked in a nursing home. I've worked with seniors. I've, I used to be an activity aide playing bingo. And I've actually worked in a pharmacy, which a lot of seniors come to get their medications as well. And I grew up living with my grandparents and just seeing what it's like to live on a fixed income paying taxes your entire life, and then being given such a small social security benefit that doesn't allow you to live in a retirement of dignity, that really showed me that seniors truly deserve more, right? So when I saw these promises coming out, Democrats saying they wanted to help seniors give more money to SSI, SSDI, and social security benefits, I said, you know what? This is a beautiful thing. So I started making videos about it, kind of sharing the news, giving updates, giving you guys my opinion on how strongly I feel about helping seniors. And quite frankly, that this entire community was built upon that to 115,000 subscribers in this community. So again, I just want to say thank you guys. But really, the message of this channel is that seniors deserve more. People on SSI and SSDI who are disabled deserve more as well. You pay taxes your entire life. It's not charity. It's literally something you've paid into and you deserve to get enough of a benefit just to not have to live in poverty, guys. And let me know in the comments if you agree. So with that said, this $200 per month promise obviously never fully came to fruition. But now we have some people who actually are getting an additional $200 per month. And the sad part here is, folks, the absolute unacceptable part is it's the richest people getting this larger benefit. So when you take into account this COLA adjustment, those who were the highest earners during their working years who already were receiving the highest social security benefit are now also going to receive the largest COLA, which is going to add up to over $200 per month in additional social security benefits. So you see, this just goes to show why we need social security reform, right? We have people who are the highest income earners in the best position. Not only do they have social security benefits that are bigger than everybody else, but generally they usually have like stocks, real estate, bonds, additional things. So they really don't even need to just rely on social security benefits, but they end up with the largest benefit. And then what happens is this annual COLA adjustment is regressive, meaning that those at the top get the largest increase every single year. And this is shown here. Those who are the highest income earners are going to get over $200 per month in additional social security payments just based off of the COLA adjustment. Now, in order for the 5.9% COLA increase to result in an additional $200 per month in benefits, you would have needed to receive at least $3,389 per month in 2021 from social security benefit benefits. Now, the maximum benefit for someone who retired at age 70 in 2021 was almost $4,000. So see, those who are already at the top getting over $3,000 per month in benefits are now, are now going to get an additional $200 per month from this COLA. And then those who are at the, who are at the bottom, those who are getting like $1,000 per month are going to get like an extra $60 per month. So Really, we need this to change where it's almost flipped. When you're on the lower end of the scale, you should get a larger cola. And when you're already at the top, that cola should actually be reduced, kind of making it like a more progressive system, if that kind of makes sense. So this is something that's really not talked about a lot. Bernie Sanders is constantly talking about changing the cola formula from CPI to CPIE, which would take into account more factors that really affect seniors like medical expenses. But he really doesn't talk about changing the scale to really make it more progressive and have those who are getting the smaller benefit have a larger cola every single year, if that kind of makes sense. So that's really the thought that I was having on the situation. Let me know your thoughts and if you agree. But it just really goes to show that those who are the highest earners are getting the largest benefit and getting the largest increase every single year. And this is why some people are going to be getting an additional $200 per month starting on January 12th. Now let's talk about when those payments first go out. If you go on socialsecurityadministration.gov, this shows the payment schedule for social security benefits in 2022. And depending on your birthday, this falls on the second, third, or fourth Wednesday of the month. So the first wave is set to come this week, Wednesday, January 12th, then the second and third on January 19th and 26th. Now, if you're on benefits at this point, you probably already know how it works. 
But just to quickly recap, if your birthday is on the 1st through the 10th of the month, you are paid on the second Wednesday of each month. If your birthday is on the 11th through the 20th, you are paid on the third Wednesday of the month. And if your birthday is on the 21st through the 31st, you are paid on the fourth Wednesday of the month. So with January 12th around the corner, this larger social security benefit is set to come this week for the first wave of individuals. It's going to be a bigger benefit, but of course, it's not going to be big enough, especially with inflation now hitting almost 7% after COLA was only 5.9%. Now, this is one of the reasons why Bernie Sanders wants to include that $1,000 voucher in this next stimulus package. Some people want it to be $2,000, but of course, we have Joe Manchin putting the entire stimulus package on hold. Now, Bernie Sanders just released a letter. This was an opinion article, actually, on Fox News' website detailing the fact that seniors need this voucher to help them account for larger medical expenses. The COLA increase, although historic, was simply not enough, and we need to continue to push to try and get this stimulus package done. Now, in my next video, I'm going to read this letter, go into detail, and kind of dis discuss what Bernie Sanders said, and what we expect to happen next with the stimulus package. So don't forget to subscribe, and I will keep you posted as things develop. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. So until the next video, take care and have a great day.